Hello, my name is Serena and I'm Swiss. Now, if you do know anything about Swiss people, it is physically proven that cheese runs through our veins. That's right, no blood like you normal people. We have a creamy, clumpy paste of gold running through our bodies. Now, I've been in Hong Kong for almost nine months and I have not eaten authentic cheese in a long time. At this point, I'm seriously concerned about my health. So my good friend Paul, who at this point all of you should know because he's basically the star of this channel, recommended the Swiss Chalet to me. The restaurant is in TST and it is actually recommended for a Michelin star. Now, if you don't know what a Michelin star is, you're an uncultured piece of cheese. It is basically an award for restaurants judged to be of particularly high standard. And it also allows the restaurant to increase its prices. So it can get expensive. The Swiss Chalet had a variety of Swiss dishes from all over the country. I almost felt bad because I couldn't recognize all of them. The whole restaurant was decorated in the chalet style and they really paid attention to a lot of details. Oh, this is so beautiful. Yeah. With the yeah, and it's a Swiss chalet Hong Kong. Yep. With the And where do you see the butter? Ooh. We ordered nusli salad and asparagus as a starter and had spinach fondue as a main with some rösti at the side. Oh. Somebody's excited. <coughs> they gave us veggie, chicken and bread to dunk into the fondue. People, that fondue, let me tell you, that was by far the best fondue I have ever tasted. Now, before that, I would have considered myself to be a raclette person. But this changed it all, okay? It changed it all. This fondue was so good. I'm pretty sure it was because there was no alcohol in it. Because I don't really like that. It was creamy. It was lovely. It was tasty. I loved it. I could basically feel how the cheese was running through my body and made me feel alive. I can only recommend. For dessert, we had a variety of dishes. Thank you. So we have chocolate ice, meringue, and a little chocolate chalet. chalet. And they even prepared a shocky Baileys for me, which was not even on the menu. <sighs> that food was so amazing. I felt like a stuffed goose ready to be thrown into the oven for Christmas Eve dinner but it came at a price. So we paid 600 Hong Kong dollars per person, which is about 70 Swiss francs per person. Now, I don't think that was that much money, but I'm also from Switzerland and we basically clean our butts with cash. So I will say the price was justified for the service and the quality of food, which was really, really superior. Now, I was also trying to make some small talk with the owner of the restaurant, who was said to be from Switzerland. So I was approaching him and said something around the lines of, you have a nice alcohol collection here. In Swiss German, so he would know that I'm also Swiss. You know, we're in this together. Uh -huh. And his answer was, thank you. Yeah, we don't do small talk in Switzerland. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye. How did you guys like the food? I loved it. So good, Lana. Loved it. So good, Lana. I loved it too. It was very good. Very authentic too. Can recommend.